Hey, fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today, a short video on exponents for any standardized math test, um, specifically the ASVAB, either arithmetic reasoning and mathematical knowledge. Exponents are key. Once I go over it, you'll realize that you've seen it before and it's not too difficult. I'm going to do a quick lesson, some sample problems, and then some multiple choice standardized exam problems. Neither channel think about subscribing. Um, this channel is designed so you can do the best you can on any standardized math exam. Okay, all an exponent is, is you have a base number and an exponent, and it's just telling you how many times to multiply that thing by itself. So 3 squared, my base is 3, my exponent is 2. It is just saying 3 times 3, 2 times. So that's just equal to 9. The reverse of a square is a square root. That undoes the operation. If I have 2 to the third, my base is 2, my exponent is 3. It is saying 3 twos. 2 times 2, 4 times 2 is 8. <clears throat> 5 to the fourth is saying my base is 5, my exponent is 4. I need 4 5. So 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5, 25. Times 5, 125. Times 5, 625. So that's what an exponent is. Now let's look at the rules of exponents. So there are five rules of exponents, and that will allow you to combine equations or expressions to get solutions on a multiple test. So one more time, an equation is when one thing equals another. When I have an equation, I am solving for the unknown, usually the variable x. I could do whatever I want as long as I do it equally to both sides of the equation. So let's say I had 2 to the x is equal to 8. This is an equation, equal sign, I need to solve for x versus an expression, simplify or evaluate the expression 3 to the x times 3 squared. No equal sign, I just have to use the rules of exponents in this case to simplify. Okay, so with all that said, let's go through our five rules. The first rule is a product rule. The bases have to be the same, so it has to be say x to the m times x to the n. My bases are the same. Product means multiplication. The rule is x to the m times x to the n. You add the exponents together. So that gives you x to the m plus n. The quotient rule, that's division. Again, the bases have to be the same. If I had x to the m divided by x to the n, the rule would be base stays the same, and I subtract the exponents. Power rule means something to the power of. So I'm taking something to the power of. So if I had x to the m to the power of n, that would be multiplication, and that would be x to the m n. I multiply the m and the n's together. Number four, our zero exponent rule. Anything to the zero power is equal to one. And our fifth rule down here at the bottom of the page, our negative exponent rule, x to the negative m is equal to one over x to the m. So any negative exponent you can make positive, and the opposite is true too. If I had, say, one over x to the negative 3, I can make that positive by putting it in the numerator. So those are our five rules of exponents. We could do two things with them, either solve equations or simplify expressions. Okay, with all that said, let's go ahead and do some practice problems here. Pause the video, do the problem before I do them. Maybe you could do some of these mentally. The first one, Bases are the same. Multiplication, I'm using the product rule. The base stays the same. I add the exponents 
to get seven. Number two, quotient rule, bases are the same. Quotient rule says I subtract the exponents to get six to the third. Power rule, I multiply those together to get four to the six. Quotient rule, subtract the exponents to get 10 to the third. Just do a couple more here. Negative exponent rule, this is going to be 1 over 5 to, to the positive 3. 5, 1 over 5 to the positive 3. Okay, now let's take a look at some more problems. These are word problems from the ASAB, sample problems. Again, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can do the problem. Unpause the video, see if you got it right. A scientist is tracking a bacterial colony. The colony starts with five to the third bacteria. The population is squared, so the population, five to the third, the population is squared. The new size is five to the six. Right? What is the exponent? What exponent rule would you be using? Well, I look here, five to the third quantity squared is five to the six. That is the power rule, correct answer, answer C right there. Number two, pause the video, give this one a try. An investment doubles its value every year. If you invest four dollars and want to know its value after five years, the value is with this equation. Which of the following expression is equivalent to two to the fifth? So all of those words up above, those are all distractor. The real problem is just what is the equivalent of two to the fifth? Well, here I'd use the quotient rule to get two squared. No. Two to the sixth. No. Two quotient rule subtract. Two to the fourth. No. Quotient rule, two to the fifth. Yes, correct answer, answer D right there. Okay, problem number three. A large shipment of supplies contains nine to the tenth. That's a giant number, nine times nine times nine and so on. And these boxes are equally distributed among nine square different military units. So I am saying, this is how many I have. I want to divide it by this to figure out how many each unit gets, how many boxes will they receive? So now that I set that up, converting that sentence to the equation, the hard part, now I just use my rules of exponents. This is the quotient rule. I would subtract the same base of nine, 10 minus two is eight. Correct answer, answer C right there. Okay, number four, pause the video, give it a try. Obviously, these word problems are so tricky because the key is to decode the sentence. A storage container is a perfect cube with a side of length three squared. A cube, all sides are the same, all the way around. The volume of the container is three, or S cubed. What is the volume of the container? So that means I have one side as this. They're telling you it's this side times this side times this side. So there's my equation. I take this to the third. Power rule, multiply it, three to the sixth. Correct answer, answer B right there. All right, moving right along. Here's some calculation problems. Maybe we do these mentally now, simplify the expression, check the bases are the same, quotient rule, subtract exponents, correct answer, seven to the sixth, answer B. Number six, product rule, bases are the same, add two and negative two is zero, eight to the zero, zero rule is equal to one, correct answer, answer C. Number seven, this is kind of a long one. Uh, this is just a typo here, don't look at that. 
what is the value of this whole thing to the zero power? Anything to the zero power is equal to one. Really quick, easy problem. If you know that rule, you go right to answer C, one. Couple more here. I look at this and I know right away it's going to be my negative exponent rule. I can make that positive by putting it in the denominator. So that's 1 over 2 to the fourth. I don't see that anywhere here. So I have to multiply it out. 2 times 2, 4. Times 2, 8. Times 2, 16. 2 to the fourth is equal to 16. 1 over 16. Correct answer, answer B right there. Number nine, I recognize the bases are the same. Product rule, I got to add exponents. Five with nothing has to be to the first, because I have one five, five times itself. So five and five to the fourth, I add my exponents to get five to the fifth. Correct answer, answer B. Lastly, number 10 right here. If x is equal to two, now I have an equation, not an expression like the previous one. I have an equation. What is the value of the expression? Well, first off, I have x to the fourth plus x to the third. I don't have any rules for that. So I'm going to have to take this value, whoops, take that value and substitute it in. x is equal to 2. Take that 2, plug it in there, and also plug it in there. So I have 2 to the fourth plus 2 to the third. Now that I have that, I have to figure this out. 2 times 2, 4, times 2, 8, times 2, 16. So 2 to the 4th is 16. 2 to the 3rd, 2 times 2, 4, times 2, 8. 16 plus 8. 16 plus 8 is 24. Correct answer, answer B right there. Um, quick review on exponents with some sample problems. Um, some computational problems, and then some ASVAB word problems from arithmetic reasoning. Thanks for watching.